Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. This is finally what you guys have been waiting for. It is my biggest update to my LEGO Hall of Armor ever. Scarlet Witch is my favorite Marvel character, but before Wanda, I was an Iron Man stand through and through, which is why I have this Hall of Armor. I own every LEGO Iron Man minifigure produced since 2012. I've been collecting them since then, and I know that you guys really like these videos, so I'm very excited to be completely overhauling my display. As you can see in the background, I've been using LEGO's 2019 Hall of Armor design for a lot of years now, like since 2019. So, you know, it's been like a solid almost four years. But LEGO introduced this updated design in 2022, and I liked the blue of it. I liked the glass. I liked the modern look. And then when I went back to looking at this thing, I was like, wow, that's a lot of gray. Like, there's a lot more concrete. You know, I want the suits to be shown off a little bit better. But I don't like this design because there's way too much space at the top. So I actually made a whole separate video for you guys of me designing my own Hall of Armor chamber. And that's what these guys are down here. These are all my test prototypes. And this is the one that I settled on. So if you want to see that video, I'll have it linked in the description and hopefully right here in the video itself. So you guys can go ahead and check that out to see how I designed this because I needed to make sure that there was enough room for all of these massive War Machine jetpacks. And yes, this is an Iron Man Hall of Armor, but I'm also putting in any Iron Man associated characters, which is why we have Pepper Potts as Rescue, Rhodey as War Machine, and we will be adding three new suits today, two of which are Riri Williams' first Ironheart suits from Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I love the designs of these suits. This guy is a little bit turned around because I was trying to fit her in one of the chambers earlier. But I love the designs of both of these suits. I'm super excited to integrate them into my display. I don't know if this thing is going to fit in because, I mean, even the bulkiest War Machine figure doesn't have all that going on. Um, but I love Riri. I love Riri's suits. I'm so excited to add more of her suits into this display as the years go on. Because I really hope that she ends up building like 40 suits of her own in the MCU. I'll also be adding this variant in, the Mark 43 from the Avengers Age of Ultron Hulkbuster set that came out in 2018. And the reason why I'm adding it into the display is because it is technically a unique variant. I've just displayed it with my Hulkbuster for many years, but, you know, I want this to be a complete collection. I want it to have every Iron Man suit. And honestly, I have to get into variants now anyway, because LEGO has introduced a new Iron Man helmet mold. So I'm going to actually reach into here and grab the Mark IV from Iron Man 1. The Mark IV was released in 2021 with the Iron Man helmet design that I prefer with the flip-up visor. LEGO made a new helmet design in 2022 that I was originally excited for, but now I kind of hate it. Um, I don't hate it like quite as much as like the kind of flat helmet that characters like Rescue use, and Ironheart desperately needs a new helmet mold. This does not look good on her at all, but this face I think looks even worse. But that's what LEGO's doing now. They are repeating suits with the new helmet design, and they do look pretty different because of the new helmet design, and I want to include every Iron Man minifigure, so I'm going to have to start repeating figures, which I'm not super happy about. Uh, but I mean, like, we've got a Mark 7 coming out in 2022 in January, or sorry, in 2023. Um, so honestly, I might even just postpone this update video until then. But yeah, the gist of it is I can't avoid variants anymore. So this guy is going into the Hall of Armor. I really hope I have enough pieces to do all of this. I've got my uh, leftover pieces from, like, the from the destruction that you guys can witness up with the War Machine section. Then I also bought a ton of new parts from Bricks and Pieces so that I can completely redesign my Hall of Armor. And if you want to see the pieces, you can check out my parts haul video that I just uploaded. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to jump into this, so let's go ahead and completely revamp this Hall of Armor display. So here is the new and improved Hall of Armor. It is very tall, and I can already tell you guys that I don't love it. Um, the main reason why is just because, yeah, I think it is far too tall, and I feel like it's not enough of a circle. Like, it's got the height, and the height would be okay if it, like, came out a little bit more. Um, and I did crease, like, the rows of suits from 11 down to 9, because I believe... It had been, um, it had been like 11 suits per row 
like in its final form before I started making all the all these adjustments. And so I think I need to go back to that. The problem is that I want all the MCU Iron Man suits on their own. And it's kind of hard to do that. So I just want to show you guys like how the new chambers look. We'll do, we'll do a little bit of a close up. And then I think I'll try rearranging it into like 11 or 12 suits per row and see if that makes a difference. So up top, we have the comic-based suits. We've got Comic Rescue, the Mighty Micros Iron Man, the Invincible Iron Man from 2017, the Square Enix video game Iron Man from 2020, uh, the Iron Man Mech Iron Man from 2022, and then Iron Venom and Iron Venom, but like half Venomized on the helmet. Those are technically like Venom, I guess, because it's the Venom symbiote, but hey, they're still Iron Man minifigures. So I threw them up there anyway. And as you can see, I've got two empty slots here. I was thinking about putting in like Detroit Steel or maybe Whiplash from Iron Man 2 because I mean, they're also like Iron Man-y characters. So I think that they would look good in the Hall of Armor even if they technically like don't really fit in with the aesthetic. But I also kind of like want to add Ultron and maybe Vision to this Hall of Armor um, like on their own separate row. So, so I'll see, I'll figure it out. Uh, row two is War Machine and Ironheart now. So we've got War Machine Mark One, War Machine. Wait, is that Mark One? Yeah, I think yeah, this is Mark One because it's the one from Iron Man Two. So War Machine Mark One. Then we've got Mark Two. Then we've got the Iron Patriot from Iron Man Three, which is one of my very favorite War Machine suits. Then we have or Iron Man suits in general. Um, then we have the War Machine from the Bricktober pack uh, from Civil or sorry no, this is the War Machine from Civil War. This is the War Machine from the Bricktober pack with printed arms, which hopefully you guys can see. I completely forgot that we got a War Machine with such nice printed arms until I was like actually going through this Hall of Armor. Then we've got War Machine in the Quantum Realm suit, and I wish we got an Endgame Iron Patriot version of War Machine. Like, I'm, I'm really missing that from LEGO, so I hope that they make that eventually. But this is the Helicarrier War Machine. Then we've got Ironheart Mark I and Ironheart Mark II, but we're going to zoom up on those. These are the two newest additions to the collection, and I did have to build a specialized chamber for Ironheart Mark I. Her backpack was just too big, I couldn't make it fit, um, so I took out one of the door frames and then just put like one by two plates for the lights up there for her. So she is a little bit different, but I think that it still fits perfectly. She's also different because she is the only suit that doesn't have an actual helmet, so I just put a clear mannequin head on and then put her hairpiece over it. Of course, it's missing, um, if I grab Riri Williams' head, it's missing the goggles from the suit, so that's kind of a shame, but I mean, there's not much you could do unless I wanted a human sitting in the Hall of Armor, but this isn't the Collector's Museum, so I chose not to do that. Ironheart Mark II, though, her little backpack did fit into my new design, and that was the whole point of this design, is to accommodate these, like, War Machine figures. A couple of these guys aren't fitting, like, so well, like, these two have to be leaning forward a little bit, because they've got the big stud shooters, so I might modify their suits to remove the stud shooters. I don't know yet, because right now they're like kind of like forced into place. But then moving down to the third level, this is where we get into the actual Iron Man suits. So we've got Mark 1, the prototype from 2020, which I'm counting as Mark 2. Then we've got Mark 3, and then Mark 3 with the new helmet, which I don't like. I really miss the old helmet mold now. Like, uh, it's just, it's so, it's so much worse with this one, in my opinion. Then we've got the Mark V, which I think looks beautiful. I really, really like silver in my Iron Man suits. Then we have the 6 and the 7, and I have brought in the stickered panels from the Malibu Mansion set, since I just pulled that out of storage. Uh, then we've got the Heartbreaker, also really like this one, very distinctive mask. Then we've got Blazer, and then moving down to our next level, we've got Striker, who, again, I think would look a lot better if it wasn't using that helmet. Uh, then we have Taser. Same for Blazer and Taser. I wish they had normal helmets. I wish all of the MCU Iron Man suits, like for Iron Man himself, just used this helmet mold. I miss it so much. I really wish that, like, I understand LEGO has to keep doing new things. I respect what they tried with the new Iron Man helmet. I just think that the original one is absolutely the best. Because it's not limited, you know? Like, you can make it look like that, or you can, like, look at what they did on the Gemini figure, you know? Like, there's ways to make like the print like it, there's ways to make the helmets look sleeker and gemini is the perfect example of that but anyway mini rant over silver centurion i think that this is my favorite iron man figure um it's just amazing then we have the scuba one which is based on like the 37 hammerhead from the mcu this is the 39 uh star boost armor but like i called it gemini i think 
um, or maybe it was the other way around. Then this is the 41 Bones, very unique because it's the only black suit here. Then we have the 42, which is one of my favorite suits in the MCU. One of my favorite Lego figures, just because I really liked the Iron Man 3 sets, but it's not one of the more exciting ones in my opinion. Then we have the 43 from Age of Ultron, and then we have the new 43 from the Hulkbuster. And I did include, or sorry, not new. It's not from the new Hulkbuster set, it's from the Ultron Edition one, but it's new to my display. And I did include its little like nameplate, even though that doesn't match any of the other suits, I included it because um, I thought it deserved it, because uh, that's like the stand it comes with in the set. And then at the bottom, we have Tony suiting up. This is his kind of like half-suited Mark 43 variant from the Avengers Tower promo gift with purchase set in 2019. This is what the new figure in the new Hulkbuster, like the actual new D2C Hulkbuster, is based on. Um, I, that's the, the only Iron Man figure I don't have yet, just because I refuse to buy the Hulkbuster for $500, but I will own it eventually. Um, and then we've got the 45, love the helmet on that guy, 46. 47, half silver, which is pretty cool. Then we've got the 49, which is Rescue. I know she's not an Iron Man character, but I didn't put her with the comic version because her suit is number 49, so I think it deserves to be, like, in the numbering. Then we've got the original 50, the new 50 for 2022, which was a completely useless update. Like, you can see that they look pretty much exactly the same except for the helmet. Um, and it's the same for the 85. We have the original 85 there, and then we have the updated 85 on the right. Um, and then we have the Quantum Realm Iron Man suit, which technically, like, isn't really canon, because this was in concept art and stuff, but he never wore this outfit with the helmet in the movie. So he's here for now, and I think I will keep him in the display, especially because I have Quantum Realm War Machine. But if I ever need to remove a figure from the display, like, just to make everything else fit better, it would probably be this one. So that does it for like the overview of the actual Hall of Armor itself with this kind of like nine chamber design. What I'm going to do now is try to reconfigure this into like 12 chambers and see if it works out because I really don't want War Machine on the same level as Iron Man, but that might be unavoidable. Actually, really quick before I do that, I realized I didn't really talk about my new design at all. Building this took me hours. I was up until like four in the morning doing this, so I'm filming this part of the video the next day because I'm not crazy. Um, but I'm I'm really liking it for the most part. I think that it looks beautiful with all of like the blue glass, a definite improvement over Lego's version that I was using. Um, but something that I really liked about Lego's version was that the chambers connected at two levels. Like you can see, I only have like one clip, so they only clip on the bottom. But with Lego's version, they clipped at the top and bottom. And I do kind of miss that. I just don't think I can like recreate that without making them even taller. And I think that they're tall enough. The other thing is that with these kind of slope bricks, I don't know if that's too much. You know, like I like the look, but I don't know if it would look a little bit cleaner if I were to just take those out. Like, to me, it looks a little bit emptier, but maybe that is a bit of a cleaner look. So this might not be the final design. I might play around with this a little bit more. And, I mean, I will have to do another update in, like, January when the new uh, Quinjet set comes out, because that does have another Iron Man armor. So when I do an update on that, maybe this will look a tiny bit different. Okay, please don't hate me, because I know that this is exactly what happened the last time I did a Hall of Armor update. But the video is going to end here, and I'm not going to finish my Hall of Armor because I've decided on, guess, a new design for the chambers. So as I pulled this row off to start rearranging everything, a ton of stuff broke. Like, like the roofs were falling off and everything, and it's because connecting these chambers, like I said, they only clip at the bottom, which makes them a lot weaker because you don't have two points of connection. And then when you're actually connecting them on top of each other, they're connected with four studs, not two like the original design because this is the connection method from the 2022 set. And so then it makes it really hard to just pull off a whole row, which was very easy on the old design. And I want my design to still be easy to rearrange. Um, so yeah, so I think it's too flimsy, even though it looks good. So what I am going to do instead is move forward with this for now, but I'm going to change this up a little bit. So I've added, so I've actually like staggered the two different door frames, which doesn't look the best from the side, but from straight on, I think it still looks perfectly fine. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I've added a clip up at the top, and I don't know why I didn't think of like doing this before, like this was a fairly simple fix that still keeps the same height that I like. 
Um, and yeah, it doesn't look the best from the back either, but who cares? So I am going to do this, add a clip at the top. I might change this as well, like I said, to make that connection like a little bit smoother. Um, but one thing I don't like is that now you can see the sand blue color of this clip piece through there. So I need to buy a bunch of these in light gray to replace the one on the top. And then I was going to leave the bottom one in sand blue because I like reusing as many pieces as I can from the Hall of Armor sets. But maybe I'll swap that out for light gray as well, just for consistency's sake. Um, although that seems dumb. It seems like a waste of money on my part. So I'll see how, how expensive it is. Uh, but yeah. So that's what's changing. Like I said, I might get rid of these one by twos at the top as well, but I think that it makes it look like just a little bit too plain. And again, I don't like that you can see, I don't like that you can see the bricks through there, but unless I make everything one stud higher, which I think would be way too tall, then I don't really know what to do. But I am going to make a row of 14 armors, I think, so that I can have two for just MCU Iron Man suits one for War Machine and comic book armors, and then I think I might do a fourth row of just villains, but I haven't decided on that quite yet. So yeah, so I'm sorry that this is happening again, like another half-finished Hall of Armor update, because that is definitely not what I intended until like 10 minutes ago, but it needs a little bit more work. Um, it looks really good, but with this being difficult to take apart, that's not helpful for me because Lego keeps making new Iron Man suits. We just got Ironheart in the MCU, you know? Sorry, she's off camera. But we just got Ironheart. How many more suits is she going to get? She's getting a TV show next year. I'm sure Lego's going to make a minifigure of her somehow because Iron Man merchandise just prints money. So, yeah, I'm I'm sorry for, for the delay again. But I will be back in late January, so somewhere like at the end of the month, with a brand new update, including the Iron Man figure from the new Quinjet set. Um, so yeah, so I did my best this time, but my mock was not good enough for me, so it needs some more adjustments. But that's it for today, so don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my website, goldeninja3000.com, and I will see you guys with my real update in about a month and a half. Bye for now.